Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hello, hello. Hope the day is going well. Today we are going to look at Ephesians, the book of Ephesians. And we're looking at chapter 4. And we're going to focus on verse 31 and 32. Father in heaven, thank you for your word. I pray that you will remove any distraction from us. Help us to focus and hear from you. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 and 32 says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. And before we even start talking about those two verses, I would encourage you to take a look at the entire chapter. Chapter four um, is really, really a blessing. I mean, of course, the whole Bible, <laughs> the whole Bible is a blessing, of course, of course. Um, I was reading over chapter four before, um, I got to the main verses and came on here with you all. And I'm just like, I'm reading, I'm like, mm, mm, yes, Lord. Okay. <laughs> so the highlights in my Bible, it labels chapter four as Christ's gifts to the church. And then starting at verse 17, it's labeled as live as God's people. And so because we are in mode of being ready at all times, because we don't know when Jesus is going to come, right? Yes, there's some things that have to happen before he comes, but we don't know when we're going to take our last breath. Yesterday, I did um, something with regards to death. And because we don't know when our last breath is, we could be the healthiest of person. We don't know. And because of that, we should always, always be in readiness because we don't know when we're going to sleep. And so it's important for us to know how we ought to live as God's people. And also to just be reminded about the wonderful gifts that God has given us. We each have different gifts, but we each have at least one. And so having a conversation with God about what is my gift? How can I glorify you and bless others with the gift that you have given me? Have the conversation. He will point it out to you. And so this verse, again, it came from my devotion that I did this morning with regards to anger. I think it's a seven day devotion. So it might be a theme <laughs> here with these encouragements. And here Paul is asking us and reminding us and telling us and all, whatever word you want to use, but the encouragement is to get these things away from us. We shouldn't be bitter, right? God is love. God wants us to live in an atmosphere of love. No matter what's happening around us, our personal bubbles, so to speak, should be one where there is no bitterness, bitterness, there's no wrath and anger um, and clamor. I had to look up that word clamor. Clamor is loudness, like the arguing and all of that. We shouldn't be that way. And it, it's I have definitely had some loud, <laughs> angry argument type conversations with with even church members um, at times. And it should not be. Um, I've had those kind of things with my husband and that should not be, you know, I've had that with, with family members and that should not be. So these encouragements are not just for you, they're for me as well. And I am grateful of the lessons that God is sharing with us and the encouragement that he's given us. We don't need bitterness and wrath and anger and shouting and evil speaking, amongst us and malice I, oh you know I'm not talking to you because whatever whatever I'm a malice no 
God is not calling us to live in that environment at all. He's calling us to be kind to each other, to be tender hearted, to be understanding, you know, to forgive. And someone doesn't have to ask for forgiveness in order for us to forgive them. I've read over and over that when we we keep that unforgiving spirit with us, it's not just about that person. We're also injuring ourselves because to to not forgive, it means that we're holding harsh experiences and harshness in our minds and hearts um, against another person. And it shouldn't be like that. It really shouldn't be like that. So please, 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 let's take time to pray and look at this chapter and focus in on those two verses. God is calling us to live in an atmosphere of love. And it's possible through the Holy Spirit. So we have to ask for him and we have to be willing to surrender. All right. So I I hope, I hope (laughs) that those two verses and this conversation has been a blessing. And I pray that we will be utilizing these things, using these things that we are learning. Um, Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good whatever time of day it is. Um, Remember, please, to keep those bodies moving. Um, Keep happy thoughts in the mind and heart. Happiness and joy, it does something. It really does help. It helps our health. It helps us to be healthier. And if we are grieving because of the loss of a loved one, grieve. Grieve, cry. Pray through it as well. Get support from your family and friends around you. Think about the happy memories with that person. You know, Um, and just know as well about the hope of eternity and that there will be no death. When Jesus comes back and there's this new earth, we won't have to worry about death and those kind of things. All right, so take care. God bless. Remember to keep moving, to be a joy in the lives of others and to to have an atmosphere of, of peace and love around you and take care of yourself. Don't do too much and neglect yourself. You know, self-care is very, very important. Very important. Okay? We just, let's not focus fully on ourselves. (laughs) All right. Take care. God bless. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much. Thank you for your words. Um, Thank you, dear Lord, for the love that you have towards each and every one of us. Thank you for forgiveness of sins. Please forgive us of our sins. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. We ask that he will be in our minds and in our hearts, that he will guide us and help us to navigate the difficulties of life. Thank you so much for the encouragement today to put away things that are unlike you. And to be forgiving and loving and tenderhearted to each other. Help us to reach out and to comfort and bless and help and make someone's life enjoyable. And help us also to remember that we need to take care of ourselves. Whether it's a nice walk, a nice shower, a bath, reading a nice book, you know, something that'll help the spirit there, Lord. Looking out at nature, the birds, oh, it's so beautiful. So, Lord, I thank you for your blessings and your love and ask that you be with each and every one of us, dear Lord. Help us to be focused on glorifying you and to reaching out to others, to teach and to show and to share your love. May your will be done in our lives as my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Take care. God bless.